A well-earned point on the road against Chester last week put a bit more breathing space between Leamington and the relegation zone. They now sit seven points above the drop with just eight league games remaining, but Paul Holleran will be looking to turn draws into wins after not taking three points in the league since a 3-0 win over Altrincham here in late January. Jordan Murphy was sent off in last week's 1-1 draw and Jack Edwards is serving his final suspension game after racking up a large number of yellow cards, so they both miss out. Ahmed Obeng has two goals in his last two games and he'll be looking to continue his good run of form as he earns another start in an 11 that sees one change as Sam Wilding is brought in to replace the suspended Jordan Murphy. As a second start for former Notts County and Lincoln man Elliot Hodge who is on loan at the breaks. They entertain a Southport side who have had a roller coaster of a season. After just one win in their opening 10 games, they were written off by many for relegation, but following a Christmas revival, the Sandgrounders very much found their feet in the league and now sit seven points above the breaks. History has not been on Leamington's side in the three meetings between these two, with the breaks still to take a point from the Sandgrounders, but with Southport inflicting Leamington's heaviest defeat of the campaign upon them earlier this season with a 5-1 hammering at Hague Avenue, Holloran and his men will be out for retribution to put the record straight here this afternoon. Launch towards Bishop, obviously uh, Jack Edwards is absent today, following a suspension due to 10 yellow cards being addressed to him. Here's Joe Clark then. It's set up for Joe Clark but uh, just couldn't keep the effort down with his left foot on his weaker side. It's uh, Leamington with the first effort of the game. Here's Hodge. Sets Goodger and he'll look to float one towards Coe Bishop. Good strength by the, uh, the centre-back Andrew Parry. Just easing Coe Bishop out of the way to allow the ball to run through to his goalkeeper Hanford. And now Ogle can take it away down the left-hand side, bringing Southport up the field. Here's Parry now. Platt just uh, hesitating slightly, looking for options. He's found Wood in the centre circle. It's a good first-time ball in towards Charles. Here's Sampson now driving forward. Left-footed shot, never really got hold of it. More scuffed the effort than anything else. And it just trickled through towards Tony Breeden. Here's uh, Goodger then, heading on towards Bishop. The Southport defence needs to be careful here. Parry allows it to bounce, and again, and Colby Bishop taps home, and the referee says there's nothing wrong with that. And Colby Bishop picks up his 16th league goal of the season. Well, it was a comedy of errors in the Southport defence. Andrew Parry just misjudging a bounce. Daniel Hanford coming out, lack of communication between the two of them. They clattered into each other and Colby Bishop was there to pick up the pieces and benefit from the confusion to tap home into an empty net and give Leamington an early 1-0 lead here. And after conceding early goals in their past two home games, Leamington, this time they are the team to score the early goal and give themselves the lead. Flanagan then, Joe Clark will uh, hoist the ball up towards Bishop, James Mace with some clever footwork, look to uh, set Hodge in his way but uh, the winger's touch just took the ball away from him, it's a lofted ball up towards Sampson, to Southport having an immediate reply, Sampson just held up slightly, it's Perez, really got under the efforts and uh, cleared the main stand and the, uh, the bar behind the main stand. towards Bishop, that was the bounce which uh, enabled Astles to get a foot in and clear away, here's English, just slightly undercooked the header back, Jamie Hood with the first time ball, Coy Bishop almost getting on the end of it, it was Jamie Hood with a hopeful cross, or was it hopeful, was it fantastic vision by the centre back, only he knows, Flanagan, with a uh, lofted ball into Goodger, well worked free kick. Goodger with the ball across, straight into the hands of Daniel Hanford. Well, everyone had uh, drifted across to the right hand side of the field. No one noticed the run of the uh, left back, Connor Goodger down the left. 
Platt just uh, lost his footing. Clark heads down. It's the first level towards Samson. He's in here. Samson looked to loft it over Tony Breeden, but uh, the Leamington goalkeeper stood strong. Didn't get enough height on the effort, did Samson. And uh, Breeden able to palm away. Still they come Southport this time. Breeden able to come out and claim that with ease. But uh, it was a decent chance there for Southport. Certainly they're uh, close to the game. Sampson just uh, uh, unable to take advantage. Barres across the take for the away side. White shirts in the Leamington penalty area. In it comes. It's dropped into the penalty area and cleared away by Colby Bishop. Southport players just unable to take advantage of a loose ball. It will come back out the Leamington defence. Lofted by Hanford. Good job. Rises highest. Obeng with a bit of time on the ball. Joe Clark spreading the play across to Hodge. comes then the header is by Matthew Platt he got up there did the uh, Southport right back couldn't quite keep the effort down though junior English firmly away Morgan on the edge of the penalty area trying to work it into the into the box there's the effort from uh, Marcus Wood never threatening Tony Breeden's goal way off target Joe Clark over the top to the advancing Hodge and he's got the better over Matthew Platt here. Hodge across the box towards Ackman Obeng. Can't gamble enough Obeng and the chance has gone but uh, good work down the left hand side by Elliot Hodge just turn on the afterburners to get away from Matthew Platt just left the uh, right back for dust there. Conor Goodger read it well to intercept and chases his own ball down, done very well here, Conor Goodger advancing down the left hand side, he's got Bishop in front of him, here is Colby Bishop on his left foot and he'll win the corner, good play by Conor Goodger, good awareness in the first instance to block the pass and good persistence to work the ball up the field, Conor Goodger lofts the ball up towards Obeng, Southport still can't uh, get the ball efficiently away here's Clark then it's a loose ball Obeng does well to win it back here's Flanagan turns away from Barres English Joe Clark Ogle did well to read the ball through <laughs> Mace might have been caught caught out by the flight of the ball here Charles could be in Charles forced to take the shot quickly wasn't really set for the effort comes the delivery central Astles arriving Astles blazes his effort over the crossbar he got the initial touch just dropped down for him but didn't drop low enough here's Wilding Hodge gliding inside onto his right foot Hodge Struck the effort, hit the first man, Flanagan. Just giving it straight to uh, David Morgan. Could that be costly for Leamington? Morgan striving forward now, seeking the run of Charles. Just pokes it beyond Junior English before going down on the challenge, and it will be a yellow card for the Leamington right back. And that all came from an error from Reese Flanagan. Underpowering the pass, allowing David Morgan to intercept and drive Southport forward.
Flanagan just dinks it over the back line. And looks to the advancing junior English. Put under pressure, can only head it into the path of Green. Green with the early effort on his left foot. Not enough power in the shot. And uh, straight down the throat of Tony Breeden. Wilding loses out. Searching ball for Green. It's found the, the substitute. And uh, English uh, has brought down Green. It's the second yellow for the right back. And uh, has four minutes of added time was raised from the dugouts. Junior English has been dismissed for two yellow cards. And uh, given his marching order, so Leamington will have to play the four additional minutes with ten men and defend their 1-0 lead. A man down. And uh, Southport, with their last throw of the dice, will send on Liam Davis for the centre-back, Andrew Parry, whose mistake is the difference between the two sides. His mistake, who uh, allowed Coy Bishop a tap-in. In it comes, and it's low. It's disappointing. It's headed away by Sam Wilding, but it will come straight back at Leamington. Here's Wood. Able to bend the ball towards the back post, but it evades everyone. Out for a Leamington goal kick. And there goes the referee's whistle. And it's a massive, massive three points for Leamington. And their quest for survival moves them ten points above the relegation zone. It's their first win in six games. It wasn't pretty, but uh, Paul Holleran won't care. That's finished here. Leamington won Southport nil. So, Paul, very hard for, for uh, three points out there in those sort of conditions. What are your thoughts? Yeah, it was really difficult. I mean, the, obviously, the conditions have dictated the game, really. Just said to Lane coming off the pitch, I just probably think that we played the conditions slightly better, um, especially second half against it. I thought, you know, we'd really played it out well and we got it into the areas. I can't say not wind affected, but. In, if you come down the left-hand side of the pitch, it was easier to keep the ball in, and 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 we got Elliot in the game a lot second half. So that was really good. But listen, you know, it's a, it's a massive performance, uh, performance and result. It's a clean sheet. It's a win at home. Um, we know how hard they are in this league against a very good side. You know, I mean, we know how good they are. They're, they're probably the only side to give us a real good spanking this year up at Southport. Um, you know, and one thing, the players over recent weeks, and we've you know we've had. Good players missing. It was good players missing again today with Jack and Jordan and was it Gitto, Nurley there and Kieran and whatever. But they've really had a go. You know, they've they let they put the leg work in. We've been a bit sloppy now and again, um, but we've really tried the last few weeks to work on that and try and work on our focus and concentration and managing games at different times. It was the same last week at Chester, and it's that period, that minute after half time. It's stop and start parts of the game, which you're really vulnerable. And I thought today we were, we were absolutely tremendous. That I really did. I thought we, the amount, our focus, our concentration, in difficult conditions. I thought we played some decent stuff at times. And to be fair, probably said before the game that a mistake or a set play would be really important today. And it probably is a mistake when you look at it. That's won us the game. Thought we've probably had a couple of other good half chances. Got some good areas. Um, you know, but this is a good side. You know, it took the manager a while to sort out start of the season, but now they're they're on a good run. They've got good players, and um, it's a massive result for us. And um, you know, it, like you say, the season. You know, we we sort of give the players targets to ten, and we got to ten points really quickly. Twenty points quickly, thirty points just at the turn of the year, and it's been a long, hard road to get you know to get to forty points. But we're there now. We've still seven, eight games to go, and some fixtures here that you, with teams around us that you'd hope would do well and players coming back as well and um, you know having a little 10 point cushion at this stage is, it's probably the best we've had when we've been in this league but we want to try and kick on now and get to 50 points that's what we want to try and do uh, knowing it'll be a, a tough task but no and over the years you know you know we hear that players who have sort of stepped up and we've been struggling um, and we all know the hoodies and the maces and Connors but I just think people like Colby Bishop and Ahmed and that last few weeks they've really run themselves into the ground, young boys that are desperate to do well and want the club to do well and everything. So, listen, it's 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 been a tough 
Um, it's been a tough period recently, but hopefully last week's point and today's win and a clean sheet, it's steps in the right direction for us to, you know, get a few more points on the board and, and really enjoy the end of the season.